have another international guest and it's Liza Coggins. She is an LA-based working makeup artist in television, commercials and print. She has also assisted in body painting for the Sports Illustrated models for the last five seasons and her celebrity clients include Ellie Kemper, Russell Crowe, Christian Bell, Gwen Stefani, Stefani and Heidi Klum to name a few. So will you please put your hands together and welcome Liza. Now I'm going to go in and do more of a smoky look. I'm going to go and take my brown again and this time I'm going to completely cover the lid and the key to a good smoky eye is to apply the shadow with a nice loose brush and look straight ahead you should always get your model to open her eyes when you're applying it so because you should be able to see a little bit of shadow just above the crease I'm taking the Ben Nye or graphite right there Again, I'm loading up a loose brush. The looser the hair on the brush, the softer the application. The tighter the hair on the brush, the stronger the application. Does that make sense? It deposits stronger color. And I'm going to work that into the crease. Ideally, if I was doing a smoky eye, I would do the eye makeup first before I, did the ba I would do the base. Because, as you can see, shadow falls below the lashes. And if you're doing your base after the eye makeup, it's very, very easy to clean up. I'm going to take that underneath her lower lashes as well. I'm going to take both colors, the brown and the gray together. And if you look upwards, going from the outside of the eye, close to her lashes, into the inner eye. If I was to take a, a lighter brown, I can show you, it can really, really open the eyes if you bring the brush slightly down like that. And then keeping in mind the angle of the lower lash line, you can bring it up like this and meet it up, meet up with the top. I'm going to take this pencil here. This is an excellent pencil. It is the Starry Night Shimmer Crayon. It's black with a little bit of sparkle in it. This actually sets, and when it sets, it's, it's waterproof. It'll, you could put it on your hand and take a bath with it. It will not come off. Again, I'm thinking of longevity. I want this look to stay on. Now, I am putting this into her lash line. It's creamy, and in about a minute or so, it dries and sets and becomes uh, waterproof. You still have a little time to blend, which I love. It's also available in gold, silver, and ice. I'm taking more of my brown and my black and going back over it and blending them all together. So I'm taking again the same two shadows I put underneath on the lower eye and also used to define her contour together and then blending it into this black liner look down on it. Now it's important to work in steps. You can always build. It's uh, easier to build than to take away. I really like putting a, a little touch of sheen uh, when using a smoky look, and I'm going to use the uh, Neutral Pearl Sheen Palette, which I was talking about earlier on, and I'm going to use this shadow right here. It's uh, Umber Glow. I'm blending down into the, the liner as well. This, the sheen helps kind of take over and create a softer look as I blend into the black liner. What's really cool about this also, if I take this brush and I'll dip it into some water, put a little bit underneath here, it makes the pigment so much denser. 
Now I'm putting single lashes on. Little short black flares. Smoky eyes look very modern with a nude lip, but you could also go full glam and put a red lip on with this. So her lips are nude right now, and I think I like them like that, but for a long-staying lip look, this is what I, I, I typically do. I'll go in and I'll lip, outline the lips. I almost do like a cross right here, just to get the cupid perfect. And then I go out to the edges here and define them and fill them in. I actually like to go continue the line right the way around the lips, and I slightly pull it up here at the side. Fill in the lips with the pencil. And blot a little. Then apply your lipstick again. Back to the uh, natural lipstick palette. So reapply the lips. And this is what you would do with any color. Reapply it. Blot it. Apply powder all over. And then reapply. This is a taupe color, or cork is what it's called. And just to pop the contour a little bit here. And then go back in for another touch of blush. I actually like to mix them all up. And smile, there we go. Well, I'm taking the blush again and just adding some of that blush warmth to the makeup. Also, I just want to show you this palette. This is a fantastic palette. It's, um, it's the powder palette by Ben Nye. You have banana powder in there and a few different contour colors. And I like to use this also just as an additional highlight. It includes the color list, the banana. It also includes uh, a series of colors made uh, famous by uh, the French Viseora. Benai Lumiere Cream Wheel. Taking some of the white shimmer powder or shimmer cream here and just putting a touch of it right here on her lips, her nose, look upwards. These are also great for using on the eye. I'll just show you. I can just put a pop of one of these colors and it just lights up. Okay, there we go. That's our smoky eye.